Hey guys, this is Moniverse, and welcome to the first of hopefully many Ableton YouTube tutorials that I'll be doing. This one's going to be really short and simple. I'm going to show you how to use MIDI to trigger things like LFO Tool or Kickstart. And this is really useful to avoid the issues that Ableton has with plug-in delay compensation. Uh, and you can also do some creative things with it with other plugins that accept MIDI inputs. Uh, to start, I'll load up Kickstart. And it's as simple as setting it to re-triggered from synced in the options. And then all you have to do is route a new MIDI channel. So I'll set a new one up. And here I have a four to the floor pattern. And all you have to do is select from the output to the channel that the plugin is on. And in the second drop down menu, select the plugin itself. <laughs> And now you'll see that uh, it's actually relying on the MIDI and not Ableton's host syncing to set up the envelope. The cool thing about this is now you don't have to worry about plugins before it in the chain, so you can go wild and there will be no syncing issues. You won't have to tinker with the envelope anymore. Uh, and for some who have used Ableton for a while, you'll know that this has been a really big issue for a long time. Uh, with that said, you can also do this with plugins like FabFilter's Volcano, and this is really useful if you want to bust things together or layer things without using Ableton's macros, or if you're just using presets and the filters don't match up and you're lazy, you can set up a filter on the bus channel or on the same channel that uh, everything is on, or routed to, and here you just set up a new envelope generator, set it to accept MIDI, and you know adjust as you need to set the target to filter one frequency and now you can route MIDI to that channel or to that plugin rather and let's say you want to do just straight eight notes and to make this really drastic I'll add a new envelope follower and map it to the frequency Let me disable kickstart here. So, yeah. That is some creative uses and useful tips on using MIDI to trigger plugins in Ableton. Uh, I hope this helps, and subscribe for more in the future. I'm going to be covering a few new things. If you guys have any suggestions or things you want to see, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you soon.